John Cadunas, welcome back. Great to have you back. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Let me Maria. kick it off with you, John. What are you seeing in terms of your clientele right now uh, and money moving? Where is the sentiment this morning going into year end in 2021? Well, we're seeing uh, actually a lot of inflows of people want to, uh, we're seeing active management here dealing with volatility. And uh, there's been a lot of it, <laughs> everything from uh, COVID to the elections. Uh, and I, I think that uh, we're, our AUM has uh, gone through the, the roof. We're at $31.5 billion. And people want protection on the downside during these volatile times, but they still want equity-type returns. And if you can give that, we're seeing a lot of money being drawn to that, both retail and institutional. So do you think that there are drivers then in terms of allocating capital and what's pushing money into what area? Tech has clearly been the, uh, the, uh, the growth story, and it continues this morning once again. Do you still see uh, interest there? We definitely do. And since the election, we definitely have seen a rotation that's come back and forth um, between uh, secular uh, growth and cyclicals. And we're still overweighted in secular growth because we think the tech is still going to be there. But we're putting more into uh, specific cyclicals that will help coming out of this pandemic that we still think there are some good opportunities depending on earnings and whatnot. So even though we are still overweighted uh, mostly in growth type stocks, which are the tax and the things and whatnot, we are playing a lot more in the recovery of these cyclicals as they come out of this. Yeah, you know, clearly things have turned and the sentiment improved on the vaccine news, the progress there, a renewed push on stimulus as well on Capitol Hill, driving investor sentiment, the Dow seeing its strongest month since the 1980s last month as investors look toward the end of the, of the COVID pandemic. John, what's your outlook in terms of uh, what drives markets in 2021 and, and, and the backdrop for the market, that is the broader economy with a vaccine now uh, in, the, uh, in, in the conversation? Right now, clearly, uh, the vaccine is driving these markets and the optimism for having a vaccine and getting people back to work. And that's going to be a huge driver here. Earnings have been pretty good. There's still rooms for some improvement, but that's, that's going to be the biggest driver going forward. Now, we're going to have what seems to be an accommodative Fed, no matter what happens in the future, which is very important. So when you have the backdrop of lower interest rates, and having you know earnings continue to do well, I think we're going to have a very strong positive, uh, you know, next few quarters going into this new year. Having said that, we have to also look at the political uh, scene and what happens in the Senate because then uh, fiscal policy is going to play a play a big role in what happens in the future. Absolutely. It's all about uh, who wins the Senate and uh, what policies we'll be able to get through. John, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks so much. Great to see you. Thank you, Maria. We'll see you soon. John Cadunas is the CEO of Calamos. We're just getting started.